from London. Ken Blackburn from China Weir. Harry Kirk from Fife. Richard Furs from Essex. Andy Tate from West Dumbartonshire. Ian Douglas from Lincolnshire. Steve Shaw from Cheshire. Sophie Wadley from East Sussex. Adam Davis from Cheshire. One more. Norman Hook from Essex. Here comes the question. Put these Labour Party leaders in the order they were born. Clement Attlee, James Callaghan, Ramsay MacDonald, Tony Blair. That was so, the speed of light, some of that. But let's find out if it was right. Ten contestants. This is the right order, then. First and foremost, this is the important bit. This is the right sequence. Father's back in time. Ramsay MacDonald, uh, born 1866. Then Attlee, born 1883. Uh, Callahan, born in 1912, and Tony Blair, most recent, obviously, born in 1953. So that's the right order. Let's see how many were right out of our ten, though. Most of them, nine were right. Lisa Brearley was fastest in 2.88 seconds. I told her they were quick. Lisa, Hello. you're a woman. Fantastic. <laughs> Haven't seen one for days. <laughs> Want to pay for a million pounds? All right, then. Of course I do. <laughs> So, this is Lisa Brearley, a recruitment company boss from North London. Up in the audience is her friend Annabelle as Lisa's partner. Peter is at home as a possible phone a friend. If you get stuck on the way, she has three lifelines to help you. 50 50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Lisa, lots of luck. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one it's £100. Here it comes. On which of these might you win a large amount of money? National Flattery. I don't know where we're going. National Lottery. <laughs> national Battery. National Pottery. National Lottery. It's the right answer. You've got £100. Lisa Weber. <laughs> Question number two is for 200 quid. Here it comes. What kind of item is most likely to be protected by a dust jacket? Book. Milk bottle. Bars. Water tank. I think I'll go for book. It's the right answer. You got 200 quid. <laughs> okay, question number three. Here it is. Which of these names can mean a sudden attack or to go forth on a journey? Susan, Sally, Sarah, Sissy. Um, Sally. As in Sally Forth. You got 300 pounds. <laughs> Question number four, here it is. What is the French word for love? Amour, cheval, pomme, encore. I think it's amour. Amour is the right answer, you've got 500 pounds. <laughs> no problem so far, you have all three lifelines. Last point, you go home with nothing at all, I'm sure it won't happen to you, Lisa. This is for a thousand, guaranteed, here it is. Which football team knocked England out of the 2002 World Cup? Brazil, Mexico, Italy, United States. Oh, good, a football question so early oh, on. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I was on holiday at the time with lots of Italians in Italy who were very unhappy, so they weren't there still. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. They're gone. It's Brazil. Are you sure? Yes. It's the right answer. You've got a thousand pounds. And after 45 minutes, we were leading 1 0. <laughs> Still upsets me now. You got a thousand pounds guaranteed. Lisa Brearley is ten away from a million. She has all three lifelines. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the second part of tonight. So who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Serious business, Lisa. You got one thousand pounds. That's guaranteed. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is question number six of a possible fifteen. Which?
TV presenter and DJ, low life they are, had a hit <laughs> single in 1978 with the floral dance. Jimmy Young, Nicky Campbell, Terry Wogan, Jonathan Ross. I think it's Mr. Wogan, Terry Wogan. Do you remember it? Yes, I do. Why are you frowning? Yes, I do. Because it's a bit embarrassing, really, isn't it? Whichever one of them it was, it was absolutely <laughs> cringe-making. That probably made him a lot of money. I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Final answer? Terry Wogan. It's the right answer to his shame. <laughs> it's worth £2,000. <laughs> Oh, that boy can murder a good tune. Now, you've got £2,000. You still have not touched a lifeline. You've got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Peter, phone a friend. Mm. Why him? Um, he's got a head full of a lot of useless, well, hopefully useful knowledge. But also, because I know him so well, I trust him. And also, I can blame him, because I know him so well. <laughs> you've got £2,000. Uh, you had three lifelines, including phone a friend. Question number seven is for 4000 Have a look. Whose 2002 autobiography was called, and why not? Michael Parkinson, David Frost, Des Lynham, Barry Norman. This is the bit you fear when you go completely blank. Whose 2002 autobiography was called, and why not? I can't think of anybody that's had an autobiography out, out of those four, which is not very helpful. Can I ask the audience? You can. Audience, on your keypads, please. It's worth £4,000. This is the question. Whose 2002 autobiography was called, and why not? It's worth £4,000. A, B, C or D. All vote now. Uh, it seems to be a night of 61%. 61% are saying Barry Norman. 10% uh, there's Lynham, 11% David Frost. 18% of this audience think Michael Parkinson had an autobiography call. And why not? It's up to you. I can actually hear Barry Norman saying it now. Can you? Yeah. I can sort of hear that voice. It was his sort of catchphrase at the end of film, whatever. Was it? I think so. I'm probably being influenced here, but... Um... Oh, why not? Yes. I think I'm going to go for Barry Norman. Interestingly, actually, Barry Norman claims that he's never, ever, ever said this. <laughs> it's true. But it is the right answer. You've got £4,000. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and why not? <laughs> Barry is quite adamant. He's never, ever said it. The only person who ever says it, I think, is Rory Bremner. Now, you've got £4,000. Have a look. Question number eight for 8000 Butternut is a variety of which food? Squash, pepper, onion, potato. Yeah, I think I can go squash. Why are you saying that like that, squash? I'm just taking the advice of the team earlier and reading it twice. That's good, that's good. Take your time. Butternut yeah. is a variety of which food? Squash, mm. pepper, onion, Potato, it's worth £8,000. Yeah, definitely squash. Definitely squash? Definitely. Final answer? Yeah. Definitely a squash. You've got £8,000. <laughs> Ooh, Lisa. Now. Ooh. It's getting a bit serious, this. You are two away from 32000 You have two lifelines. Have a look at question number nine. Here it comes. In which film does Samuel L. Jackson play the gangster Jules Winfield? Attack of the Clones. Pulp Fiction. The Negotiator. A Time to Kill. Oh, I really can't remember the character names. I know he was in Pulp Fiction. Films is not really my. Well, there are any of those. Strong he definitely point. wasn't, then, do you think? There's none that I could really rule out. Definite. Okay. 
Which film does Samuel L. Jackson play the gangster Jules Winfield? Attack of the Clones, Pulp Fiction, The Negotiator, A Time to Kill. It's worth $60,000. Actually, Attack of the Clones was a Star Wars film, wasn't it? <laughs> Which I haven't seen. <laughs> but I can't see him, picture him in the, um, in, like, the publicity for it. It's time for another lifeline. And I haven't really got a strong person on film. So, 50-50 it will be. OK, computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Lisa the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. OK. So your one is still there. Yeah. And Attack of the Clones. Which was the one that I couldn't picture him in. He's a bit sort of hipper and funkier than Star Wars, isn't he, really? OK, more to gain than I have to lose. I think. So I'm going to go for... Pulp Fiction. Final answer. Yes. You haven't seen Attack of the Clones, have you? No. I can tell you that Samuel L. Jackson was in Attack of the Clones. He was also in Pulp Fiction. It's the right answer. What well up? You got sixteen thousand pounds.